The United States Embassy in Accra says the number of Ghanaians seeking to enter America has shot up significantly and is even now stripping the increased resources to process visa applications speedily. Although the U.S. mission concedes the movement of people between two nations will enhance its people to uh, people relations with Ghana, there's an emerging constraint where the demand for U.S. visas has tripled since 2019, hence creating the backlog. The remarks are coming at a time when the U.S. Embassy plans to migrate all visa applications onto a new system starting August 16. In view of this, no new visa applications will be made until the 26th of August when the new framework is ready. Elliot Fertik, uh, uh, Fertik is the American Consul General in Ghana. He has been explaining arrangements for the new visa system while revealing that Ghanaians seeking to enter has surged significantly. We know there's always a lot of interest in visas, and especially in our non-immigrant visa uh, system. And we want to make sure that our visa applicants and the, the, the Ghanaian public generally is aware of this change and what they may need to do, if anything. The most important point to make is that we are going to be moving to a new visa services provider on August 26, 2024. However, and this is the most probably the most important thing I'm going to say today, all existing non-immigrant visa interview appointments remain valid. That means that if you currently have a visa interview scheduled with the U.S. Embassy, it is still valid and you should plan on attending the appointment on the day, the interview on the day of the appointment. Um, the first thing is that on August 16th, the old appointment system website will no longer be uh, accessible for changes. What that means is that you will no longer, you will on, starting on the, the, on the morning of August 16th, you will no longer be able to schedule new appointments, you will not be able to make visa fee payments, and customer service will not be, will not be accessible. In addition, if you have made a request for an emergency or expedited appointment, and have not received a response by August by August 16th, you will need to resubmit your request in the new scheduling system on or after August 26th. So as I said, this is important. During the period between August 16th and August 26th, you will not be able to make new visa appointments or and you will not be able to cancel or reschedule any existing appointments. But if you have an appointment already scheduled during that time, it is still valid, we will still interview you, and you should still come to the, to the embassy for your appointment. Well, in a certain sense, the demand is a, a, a very, very flattering for the United States. I mean, a lot of Ghanaians want to go to the United States to visit temporarily. And, you know, we're seeing it's not just non-immigrant visas on the immigrant visa side, diversity visa. Again, the numbers are through the roof. Um, and you know we we want to we we want to encourage as much legitimate travel between the United States and Ghana as we can. It is incredibly important to us. We want to encourage qualified students to study in the United States, um, and that's why, as I said, you know that's why we've had brought in more resources to doing interviews. Unfortunately, the demand is outstripping even the increased resources we've had. Um, and we're going to continue. And we're going to continue to increasing our resources. You know, looking at ways to be more efficient, encouraging people to use um, systems like you know, getting renewal the interview waiver process when they when they qualify. Um, and again, I would just say that this new visa appointment system is not really connected one way or the other with the demand. The demand it, the demand is what drives the long wait times. So if you have if you're renewing your visa, I would highly encourage you to look at our website and see if you're eligible for our visa waiver, sorry, our, our interview waiver program. The second thing is that we do have a process for asking for expedited appointments. Um, I will, you know, in, in, in emergency cases for urgent, things like urgent medical travel, unexpected and urgent business travel, and for students who are not able to apply, have not been able to get an appointment within 60 days of their start date in the United States. For the expedited appointments, I should say right now, the bar to getting the the, 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 the the bar to getting an appointment is very, very high. We have a limited, very limited number of, of, of these kind of cases, of these kinds of appointments. And um, 
we have to, that means we only can take the most urgent of cases, but that process does, does exist. Well, so that uh, is the situation of the U.S. Embassy here in Accra.